Hello antique lovers, this is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques. I went on another treasure hunt yesterday. I uh, spent most of the morning because I went to a couple of antique shops as well as outdoor event. And this is what I found. I want to share that with you. I spent about $203 for the things that you're going to see here. Uh, they are all spread out here on my work stand. There's nothing been processed yet, so it's not cleaned up or ready for sale. But I will have the links to these pieces as I get them ready for sale, and they will appear in the description of this video. If you are interested in anything before they, the links appear and you don't know where to go to purchase them, just drop me a line or leave a comment for me, and I'll try to help you out with that. I can either put things in my online store or move them to my shop space at Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland, whichever works best for you. So beginning on the end here, I've got this wonderful <coughs> early ladies hat that's uh, it's a black straw, if you can see that, and it's got a top bow out of grow grain ribbon and a grow grain neck strap. It's an early piece and it's just a really nice old piece that would look great in my with my uh, antiques in my shop. Okay, here on the front is an early razor with the razor holder. It all comes in the little black case and I think there's a patent date on there. I think it was 1919 if I can remember that right. Here's just a milk glass powder jar with a tin screw on lid. These are these are very charming when every and there are lots of uses for these. Back here is a wonderful little um, barn. I'm going to tip it up here right now because it isn't attached to the platform. It's got to have a little bit of work. But it's a folk art barn with a little uh, stick um, fence around it. It'll be a great piece to use in a village scene. I found a, <clears throat> this is a German piece and this is an enamelware child's place. You can see the recess center there. And it's got like a Dutch um, couple there on the front. Uh, in the front here I found a couple of these uh, barrel, old barrel taps. These are a little bit different. They've got like the turned edges and everything rather than just being totally plain. They'll look really great when they're all cleaned up. I, this gentleman, he had like these old drumsticks. Excuse me, something fell there. He had these old drumsticks. I think we're a little bit on a slippery surface there. And um, they're just old drumsticks that if you needed a drumstick, you, you know, they're hard to find by themselves. So I picked those up. And here's um an eyeglass, leather eyeglass case, which with a pair of old eyeglasses, that will enhance them quite a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a, a pair of, I think they're two-tone brown, either that or they're well used, as you can see, but they will be cleaned up and fixed, and these are high-button children's shoes from the 19th century, and I, I'm always happy to find those. Here's a great little French ivory picture frame, this one. Uh, I'll probably change out the picture uh, for him, but this is an early piece and a nice dresser piece. Here's a great little piece that I found. This is collar button um, container. It's got the little collar button uh, motif there on the top, and it does have collar buttons in it. And these are the ones that are used with um, the detachable collars that men wore back in the late 19th century and early 20th century. And that is a silver plate item. It has a little tray under it. It's really good. <clears throat> Here's a little piece. This has a ruby glass. It's a mustard pot or salt pot or something of that nature. Um, with a little lift top thing. I don't know what this metal is, whether it's pewter or what. I haven't really investigated that enough. I just thought that was really sweet. Always pick up these flower frogs, these needlepoint flower frogs. I sell them very well. <clears throat> and I use them for other things besides selling, actually, to display different kinds of paper items. They're great for holding paper items. Here's a <clears throat> metal reindeer. I just thought he was kind of cute. He's got an Art Deco look to him. 
and I'm sure at Christmas time he'll come in handy for somebody. I picked up this old bell here. This is like a school bell. It has a horseshoe mount on the back. Uh, it needs work, but it was um, a good buy, and um, I just think I can clean him up and make him good for you. <clears throat> Here's a nice item. Now, this is a frog doorstop. I, I know you've probably seen these before. Most people, they are around. Um, but this one is a brass one rather than uh, cast iron. You can see the, the shiny brass mark there. It's got scratched. And he's very, very heavy. And he's got a great patina. I think he's going to do well. I think someone's going to want him. Uh, here's an item that I've never had one before, and I just think they're adorable, and they make great pieces. I hope the light isn't uh, interfering too much there through the window, but this is a, a wood antique clothes ringer, and um, it's got wonderful graphics on it. It says Enterprise. It's, let me get some things out of the way so you can see the handle. And, of course, that would mount to the tub that you're going to use it on. And that won't be going into the shop right away, but uh, I will get it in there at some point. And this book, Finding the North Pole, this is an early 1900s book. I like the fact that it's got the 48 Star American flag on the front there. Those are always popular to buy those patriotic theme books. And here's a nice little tin. This one, I don't know if you can see there. I put it up close. It's a Tetley T10, and then you can see on the front there the, the Tetley T box. And it is a hinged lid, lid 10. It has advertising on the underneath side of the lid as well. Then I'm going to go down here to the floor area because I have one large washboard that I got. It's plain with a tin scrub service. It needs to be uh, scrubbed up and cleaned. A large wood cutting board. They're pretty popular. People use them for a variety of things including actual cutting on them, but if you need an old board uh, for some reason, they also work well for that. Here is a, a chestnut roaster with the lift top tin top and the whole screened in bottom, long handle. A nice old wood bucket here I've got sitting. It has the label on the front, cherry halves. It's a nice size one. I'm going to set him up so I can show you this old um, table that is made out of a fruit cart or something. Uh, you can see here around. It's just turned upside down. Legs have been added. This is a nice old primitive uh, piece. Makes great piece in certain settings. Uh, goes well with any primitive for that matter. And it's got a nice old red wash on it. So that's a nice piece. And then I got a variety of um, soft goods. I have them stacked up here. One is a snap on um, knitted scarf that you wear around your neck. This piece is a nice runner and as you can see, you can see the lovely um, needlework there and the cut work in that piece. The next piece is a, is a voile. Now this is a square piece, but it's a voil type of a scarf, if you can see the beautiful yellow raised embroidery there, and that is just going to be really pretty when it's ironed and pressed. Then here's a cute little laundry bag. Now this is an all-white bag, and it has the word laundry on it. I don't know if you can see it or not in the light, but it's embroidered on there, the word laundry. Then I got, let's see, one, two, three of these little flannel children, let me see if I can hold it up here, little flannel children's slips that have the little button tabs at the top and the buttons need to be replaced. 
but that's where I go to my sewing department to get those buttons and replace that. And then this cute little, um, it's an aqua gingham uh, little girl's dress. It's just adorable. And it's, uh, it's all handmade. Well, some of it is mis machine stitched, but others, p parts of it is handmade. But it's homemade is what I guess I was wanting to say. And so, I paid a total of about $203 for these pieces that I'm showing you today. And I think they're going to be good sellers, and it was a fun time. So, before I close, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, remind you that any comment or any of your questions are always welcome and you leave them in the comment section below. Also, please check the description of this video for links to my online store and my web page and other places where I can be found on the internet. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.